Now another area of course is health care. One of the biggest health issues that we're going to face as we age is our ability to remain mobile. This is something that's growing very, very big. It's a huge challenge and things like this often take big companies with big resources, big hearts and noble intentions. Well this is exactly Hyundai and this is what they're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Song In Park from Hyundai Motor in Korea. Hi Dave. Song In, thank you so much for coming. Now people think of Hyundai as a car company, but you're obviously here to talk about more than that. What challenge are you taking on? Well Dave, most people know Hyundai for making cars. But we do more than that. We provide mobility to people. One example is working, which is hard for many people in the world. For example, let's look at an everyday task like going to the bank. You arrive at the bank in your Hyundai Genesis. However, you still have to walk into the bank. Even though it is a short distance, this is still difficult for someone with disability. This is a gap in mobility that affects millions of people, quickly turning this $100 billion industry into a billion dollar industry. Well, this is a big challenge. There's some big numbers here. And this is a complex and important advance in that direction. So give us a sense about this incredible looking solution. For the last year, we have been developing mobility system prototypes. I'm wearing exoskeleton system now. They will provide free motion to someone. Well, I definitely want to wear it, but I'd love to see how this would be used in an everyday activity. Okay, Dave. I'll act out going to the bank for you. Thank you. First, I'm going to walk from my Genesis to the bank. Now, for the tricky part, there are stairs in my way. I have walked down the stair and I, I have my money. Now I can walk back to my Genesis. That was incredible. Thank you. I can only imagine the algorithms and the complexity involved in something like this. Give us a sense of the platforms that you're building on and the trends you're utilizing. Okay. The system has many sensors and actuators. Building the control system also requires many control peripheral units and high-speed communications. We have also added wireless communication to the system to connect to other IoT devices. <coughs> Sorry. This would normally take a few years to develop and prototype. However, with RepView and Compact Rio, we saw four times increase in productivity and developed this prototype in only one year. Well, this productivity is important. You're taking on a big challenge and to move quickly is important. What is your perspective in the outlook and the change that's possible with this type of approach? Yeah, this is still just a research project, so nothing is certain. However, I believe connecting to other devices will open up many incredible applications. For example, doctors can access data from their, pa their pa patient wearing these kinds of robots. They can use that data to provide better medical services. In order to develop a final, final system, we will have to reduce the size, weight, and energy consumption. We left you. We can reuse our algorithm with the NI system and module to develop final version faster. Well, this is amazing. And you mentioned that you can collect the data. It's a device that helps push you along, but also can collect information, sending that big analog data to your doctor where they can analyze it and then actually give you an improvement to help you in your condition. This is truly an Internet of Things uh, device, and we really appreciate seeing that. So one last question. 
you guys are going out and in interfacing a complex device to people that can really help them and potentially millions of people. What advice would you give? My advice is to take advantage of trends and use platforms. The IoT is creating many new applications, and you can develop systems faster with platforms. And my last advice is to the engineers. Be passionate. All engineering challenges are hard. However, solving these challenges would be impossible without passion and spirit. With trends, platforms, and passion, we believe we are truly entering into the next stage of innovation. Well, trends, platforms, and passions, we completely agree. You guys are literally taking important steps forward to help us all. Guys, thank you for sharing this perspective, your wonderful device, and for making the Internet of Things. Thank you, guys. Thank you.